Hi, my name is Julio Casal, and in this video I will show you how to create the user interface for our bookstore sample application using Visual Studio 2010. Remember, we are using Beta 2 of both Visual Studio 2010 and Team Foundation Server 2010. So, as you might remember, uh, we have this task at hand, build a book list a screen, and we have already created the business side of this by creating the Book Manager class that will return a list of books. Okay. Now, for this uh, for this video, we are not only creating a, a, a window that will show all the books, but we'll also be able to be able to filter the books using the book type. So I, I already created another method, get book list using the book type parameter that will filter the list using this uh, where syntax in the link query. So let's close this and this, and let's create right click at new project let's create a WPF application that we will just call bookstore.windows okay so right now the the project is being created and we get this uh, SAML designer here we will first work a little bit in the layout so let's click over here so we get two rows here in this grid layout and what we want to do right now is to add a stack panel in the top so we will place some controls there let's open all the WPF controls look for stack panel we will place this here okay let's make it take all the available space here okay nice Okay, so now that we have that, let's start by adding our, our data grid. In order to do that, let's go to data, show data sources. Let's click add new data source, click object. Let's add a reference because we have not added a reference to the business project. Click OK. We can see the list of entities here. Let's select book, click finish. And what we get in the left side in the data sources is the layout of the book uh, entity that we created in the past video. Okay, let's wait a little bit. Okay, as you know, all of this is being added to source control, which is right now being done by the by this wizard. So, being right here, what we can do, okay, what we can do is to just drag this book entity into the bottom side okay let's drag it here and you can see we already have our data grid so let's just make it fit into the available space in order to do that we will just go here to the SAML let's close this okay and let's modify a little bit of this um, properties like height we don't need this the alignment we don't need that go for the margin don't want that right now let's remove the width and the vertical alignment you can see it fits the the bottom row right now in the top side of this let's add some controls okay let's add a label let's add um, text box and a button okay we'll, we will want to have this stack panel use a different orientation like an horizontal orientation you can see for the label let's put type or maybe book type for the text box let's change the name to type text box and for the button let's name it search button and the content will be the name the what we see displayed here will be search okay this might be too big that will be good okay search and for the margin let's say uh, maybe five zero 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 should be good okay now the height of this uh, top uh, grid row let's go for row definitions you can see we have two rows in the top one let's do something like maybe 40 and in the other one 
just asterisk okay you can see this is the layout we just got here okay so now let's just fix a little bit also the um, some properties of these controls for example the label the basically the height of these controls okay okay now let's also modify some properties of the stack panel like the height the horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment okay might also remove the width and we have a nice interface right now okay so in order to retrieve the actual books to this interface let's just uh, double click in the search button we get our handler here and what we're going to do you can see we, we already have let's just close this we already have some uh, template code here in order to retrieve the information that we want let's cut this paste here in the click you can see that we're creating a collection view source called book view source that is actually finding a resource that we already have in the SAML that was done by the designer that resource is right here collection view source book view source which is actually creating creating a design instance of the book class in this data grid so we'll just finding that resource here and what we want to do is to uh, give some search to the book view source okay so this book view source is the source of the data grid so in order to do that let's create a book manager instance you remember we had that object written in the other project let's just add a using statement manager equals new book manager and now what we can do is to say manager that get book list we will use our new overload so we will just say type text box that text for the filter and that's it so now let's test this uh, application okay debug start without debugging oh I think I missed something maybe we get an exception here yes I miss a couple of things first and most important we need an application configuration file that we already have in our tests this configuration file of course uh, has the connection string to our to our uh, database which is a SQL Server Express database so what we're going to do is just to import that file into into this project so we will go to bookstore bookstore.tests let's remove this filter and select app.config so we now have it here right here and second we will just right click the project and set and say set as a startup project okay now let's go debug start without debugging let's type some filter like for example psychology search and there you go you got all the psychology books now you can see we cannot really see too much of these columns here so make a, a quick change here let's go back to the SAML and we will find we will find some interesting uh, width property in all the columns we will just remove this size to header stuff remove delete delete and delete and delete let's run this again and let's say psychology search and there you go we have our grid filtering by um, by a book title so that's it let's now just finish this by doing our check-in right click in the solution check in select our specific word item which is build the book list screen click resolve to close this check in okay and that's it.